Be right there. Carol, listen, from that look on your face, you are gonna scare that poor woman to death. Carol, you don't know how frightening it is for them to come into a brand new situation in a white household. I, for one, intend to make her feel warm and welcome. Well, hello, you must be Mrs. Evans. I hope you didn't have any trouble finding us. Oh, no, ma'am. I heard you all the way from the bus stop. <laughs> Francie, dear, there's something you don't know about me. I am famous for not losing my temper. <laughs> oh, well, if you want me to perform, don't I get a little reward? How about a banana? Sure, for the little gorilla. Because <laughs> that's what we is, you know. Gorillas. Oh, Francie, dear, I might as well tell you I am not going to Why, lose my temper. Sure. You give the little gorilla a little reward, and she'll do all kinds of cute little tricks for you. Uh, I tell you, I am not going to lose my temper. Why, she even delivered the mail. <laughs> Here we are, everybody. Special delivery from the planet of the Apes. I am not. I am not going to lose my temper. Now, how about a dance? Yeah. We all got rhythm, you know. I got rhythm. I got rhythm. Hold it! Hold it right there! You hold it! I just lost my temper. Congratulations, Francie. You have just done away with 200 years of guilt in two minutes flat. <laughs> Come and sit down, you little nerd. <laughs> now, you listen to me. I know life hasn't been very good to you, Francie, but there are people who are reaching out, and I'm one of them. All right, I made a lot of mistakes, and I, I tried too hard. I hate to disillusion you, but I'm not perfect. You sit there! And I'm long-winded, too. <laughs> I made a lot of mistakes and I said the wrong thing. But, Francie, I cared for you. Everybody cared for you. But if you're so full of hate that you just can't accept that possibility, then maybe you're right. So get upstairs and get your things and get out of here. And so far as I'm concerned, you can, you can freeze your butt off till it turns blue. <laughs> movie star John Wayne is no different from Donald Duck, except he's not quite as good an actor. <laughs> I mean, if I can't have a meaningful discussion with the Duke of Wayne, I have no intention of standing around here mooning over some celebrity like the rest of you. I am the only one here who is behaving in a calm, sane, rational <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Wait a minute, Walter, that's not all you left at the canteen. <laughs> Lord, when I was in the army, I weighed 235 pounds. Oh, come on, Walter, 235 pounds. That's right, in those days, I had a lot of hair. <laughs> that must be the Ellingers. Crackers, Irwin. Jonathan, would you like some crackers? I hope at least tonight they are not arguing. Wait, wait a minute. Don't tell me. You've come as the year of the Dempsey Tunney fight. Uh, Estelle, why do you keep slapping me? Because I love to slap well, you. Well, you gotta keep slapping me. Oh, it off. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, that's Aunt Polly. I didn't have any place to leave her. I, she's 94 years old. 93! She lies about her age. 
But she loves parties. So do I. Especially ones without him. Oh. All right, then you just stay here. I'm going to the Harrison's party. Not without me, yeah. you don't you? Oh, now, wait a minute. Party. Hey, guys, guys, you forgot Aunt Polly. Oh, the hell with them. <laughs> Vivian. Oh, stop worrying, Arthur. I'm not being attacked. Start worrying, Arthur. I think it was vice versa. Oh, now, look, Arthur. Uh, you see here, the hands of a surgeon. It would be tragic if they should be damaged. Now, Arthur, I think there's something... It's you okay, fella. Ah, oh. It's okay. I don't care what happened. It's a party. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think you'd see it in my behavior? <laughs> now, please, until you have something to go on, let me alone. No, no! <laughs> All right, Mother, if that's the way you want it. I've got to check on Philip. He's got a touch of the flu. Oh, and Walter called. His plane gets in at 8.30, and he'll take a cab home from the airport. Walter. Walter. Oh. Maud, you've got to stop hitting oh, yourself. I can't, Vivian. The pain takes my mind off. Off what? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> oh, well, look, why don't I just get the hell out of here, then? Vivian? You leave me alone at a time like this, and I'll rip your heart out. Well, then tell me what's the matter. Am I your best friend or not? Now, oh, what is Vivian, it? Vivian, Vivian. Vivian, how long have we known each other? 22 years. 22 Mom. years. We've been through an awful lot together. Oh, Vivian. a lot. Six husbands, your two, my four. <laughs> right. For 22 years, Vivian, we've been, we've been everything to each other. I mean, there wasn't a confidence that we couldn't share. We've, we've been like sisters, Vivian. Like, like sisters, Maud. <laughs> then can I trust you to keep a secret? <laughs> what is it? Don't look at me, Viv. <laughs> Vivian, I'm pregnant. You're kidding. Aren't you? You're pulling my leg, Maud. Maud? Maud, please pull my leg. Vivian, at age 62, I'll be the mother of an Eagle Scout. I don't believe it. No, they made a mistake. Laboratories make mistakes. There's no mistake, Vivian. The rabbit died. Where's Maud? Oh, she went into the den. Oh. Well, custard cup, I have decided to join Feminine Fulfillment. And are you in for a treat? Maud, wait! <laughs> what is that, saran wrap? That's right, bucket breath. <laughs> Maud, you can't... Will you excuse me? <laughs> Funny teeth. <laughs> Why, Mr. Greenblatt. Mrs. Finley, I just returned your lawnmower. Oh, thank you. Oh, Mr. Greenblatt. Yes. Uh -oh. Thank you. <laughs> Maud, are you crazy? Mr. Greenblatt said thank you because he's glad God made him. Maud, I'm sorry. I'm willing to forget all about feminine fulfillment. I'm, I'm sorry I ever brought it up. A turtle toes. <laughs> All I want to do is give you the perfect marriage. No way. I'm not going to end up with Arthur's complaint. Arthur, what did you say to him? Vivian, I, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but I, I can't stand much more of this missing Johnny Carson. <laughs> you mean you want me to quit feminine fulfillment? Oh, no. No, I wouldn't do that, Buttercup. See, I love the pampering. The back scratching, your complete obedience, you know, all the good stuff. You mean you think the pampering is the good stuff? 
<laughs> what about... I like to be pampered. Well, of course you do. We all do. That's what's wrong with feminine fulfillment. It's all so one-sided. I mean, wouldn't we all be happier if we took, if we took turns, you know, pampering each other? I don't know. Of course we would. That's the way the world works. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, you rub my feet. I don't do feet. <laughs> Maud, I said I'm sorry. Oh, honey, you've done nothing to be sorry for, but don't you think we could all benefit from equal partnership? I mean, think of, think of all the new things we could learn. Like what? Well, like, I just found out that I like a shot and a beer. <laughs> How about another one, Bub? Sure, guy. <laughs> <laughs>